Uh, I want to thank uh, to the EQUIP Conference Organization Committee to invite us to present our uh, research. And as well, I want to thank you all of the audience to stay here, listen and learn. I'm going to talk about patient safety in primary care in Spain, and particularly uh, to promote and to trigger some uh, ideas to go on working in future. I think Prague is a marvelous place because uh, Prague has a tradition to welcome scientists, poets, to innovate and uh, to propose no, new options for you for a new Europe. So I think it's the right place to start uh, challenging patient safety primary care in place. Uh, as uh, Jose Miguel has said, I am a full-time GP in a small uh, rural area of 2,000 uh, sorry, of 12,000 inhabitants. Uh, its, its main activity is fruit collecting and um, cattle breeding. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of multicultural uh, people there and we have a tough patient safety work as well with them. As uh, he mentioned before, I'm the chair of the patient safety group of uh, the Spanish Society of Family and Community Medicine. We are a group of family physicians for around all regions in Spain. I will use the word region instead of autonomous community each time because it's a little bit uh, harder to pronounce. But they are all uh, joined me uh, in this research we are going to present. We have as well uh, a way to communicate to the rest of primary care workers in Spain. Uh, we have a blog uh, about patient safety in primary care, Sano y Salvo, Safe and Sound, in which we publish different uh, summaries of the main patient safety uh, scientific uh, papers. And we have a Twitter, um, a Twitter account as well, Sano y Salvo, and we try to promote Twitter a spread of information about seguridad de paciente in Spain, and we have a lot of Latin American fellows, and patient safety uh, to uh, spread uh, in the, the new papers that are already um, published uh, to uh, facilitate and to, uh, to primary care workers be updated. Uh, we organize a conf an annual conference since uh, 2008 till uh, 2015. Next, uh, this year will be in May and uh, we have uh, abstract about patient safety in primary care. They are mainly experience of doctors, nurses, and primary care teams uh, analyzing incidents and promoting new preventive activities to improve safety in their health centers. This is uh, the this year uh, poster. We invite you to the conference. Uh, it will be in Madrid the 13th of May. As uh, Jose Miguel said before, I work on uh, hospitals, I work on quality management mainly, so I joined the Spanish Society for Healthcare Quality as well. Now I'm the secretary and I try uh, to uh, address patient safety and quality management uh, to the same uh, goal, that is uh, to serve, to deserve a safety care for all. We have as well an annual conference uh, and uh, patient safety uh, are on blue here. The abstract presented around a hundred of abstract in the quality, uh, quality of care uh, congress uh, are um, mainly in patient safety. Well, European Union uh, said to all member states to encourage to work on patient safety uh, around their health services. Uh, the World Health Organization as well, all inspired in uh, the mm, report to our is human. This morning, uh, David Marr has uh, introduced us to the uh, definition of error, to the definition of adverse event, and we have clear what's the goal 
for us. So Spanish government take the message and establish a quality plan uh, for uh, the her national health service, the AIDS strategy to improve patient safety in the national health service was the strategy who launched a, a, a patient safety strategy for all the regions. It's not easy because it's our picture. We are a national health service divided in uh, 18 regional health services, seven, 17 regions and two autonomous cities. All is public funded with universal coverage and predominantly operates within the public sector. Provision is free of charge at the point of delivery, both primary and secondary care and emergency care as well, and there is a payment for medications, a common national coverage package for medical service in primary care. So this plan was agreed in the Interterritorial Committee. The Interterritorial Committee or Board uh, is form of the Health Ministry and the Health Counselor of each region. So they were, uh, they agree to implement an, a national strategy on patient safety. This is the main topics of this strategy. To promote patient safety culture and training, to improve patient participation in the health system, to promote reporting and learning system, to implement safe practice. Near we have the 5th of May, the International Day on Hand Hygiene. Do research to know what we are doing and to promote international cooperation. At that point, Spain participated in the past joint action leading the War Package 5. So, we decide on research to estimate first the prevalence of what happened in Spanish National Health Service. So, the Ministry invests on developing and performing four studies. The Spanish Adverse Event Studies for Detect Adverse Event in Hospitals, ENEAS. The second one, to identify adverse events in primary care in Spain, APEAS. And another one to detect adverse events in nursing homes. And the third one, a cooperation study with different Latin American countries to detect adverse events in hospital. Those studies give us a photo, a picture of estimated prevalence of adverse event. These are the study, all are published and available in the Health Ministry webpage. So, what we have in primary care? We did this epidemiology study in which uh, participate 16 regions, 48 health centers, 452 professionals, and they had a checklist of different type of incidents to be detected in their consultation during a week. With this information, we were able to describe the nature of adverse events in primary care in Spain, the contributory factors, consequences, and preventability. They carried out 96,045 consultations during this study period. And what happened? What results we had? We had 10.11 per thousand adverse event per thousand patients and 11.18 adverse event per thousand visits. It's not too bad. Uh, in hospital care, the prevalence estimated in Spain is 9.6%. Okay. We had some patients that uh, had more than one adverse event, so there are risky patients. And no, where were no sex differences. Considering the um, potential harm from 
most of them were slight, harmful, 55%, moderate, and really serious, only 7%. But what we learned is most of them were preventable. The preventable are the dark yellow, so concerning serious one, 80% were preventable. That is a message. Considering the nature of the adverse event, we have that half of the adverse event detected in primary care were medication-related problems. A 20% a worse patient evolution, and there it concerns diagnostic errors, di diagnostic delays. 10% procedures-related problems, urinary tract uh, sondage, healthcare-related infections, and healthcare-related problems. So, once we have the picture of the estimated adverse event in primary care, we proceed to launch the Patient Safety Culture Perception Study. It was a committed mm, research by the government, by the health ministry, and they promote two different studies, hospital and primary care. And we both use the same tool. We use the uh, uh, Agency of Healthcare uh, um, Quality Organization in the United States. Later on, we will explain about it. So we did the hospital one, and with the collaboration of the Spanish Society for Family and Community Medicine, we did the uh, patient safety culture study in primary care in Spain. And why it was important to measure patient safety culture in primary care if we have such a few amount of adverse events, 11.18 events per thousand visits? Okay, we'll have a look. Because, first of all, because it's the first access to healthcare. And how we provide primary health care in regional health service. This morning, in Isabel Dupuy, Workshop. We were talking about the different profile uh, of the regional of this health national health service. So we, are, we have this picture. We are all the 18 regional services. Each one has his own uh, personal car, health personal car for its region. But the service provided is quite similar. We are organized uh, in a territorial structure. It's mainly based in areas, health areas, less than 300,000 inhabitants, which are served of a hospital, a polyclinics, and several health centers. This is the Catalonia region, the Andalusia region, the Madrid region. So we have these um, areas with a hospital and several health centers, and as well, they are divided in small territories called basic health zones, and it's a population about 5,000 till 20,000 inhabitants, and it's uh, the population referred to a primary health team. So, for example, my region in the north of Spain, Aragon, near the Pyrenees, we have eight health areas, and in each health area there are some basic health zones where there are different health centers and there in the health center work family doctors. We are a multidisciplinary team with doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, some of them have midwives, dentists, social workers, and of course, administrative staff. But the basic unit is the family doctor and a nurse for a patient list. A patient list that can vary from rural areas with very small amount of patients till urban areas with a, a more important amount of patients. 
So, Spanish Health Center, how it works? Every citizen should re register in the nearest health center with its own personal health care. The health center office offers family doctor, nurse, and pediatrician visit. These are general pediatrician who visits until 14 years old children, physiotherapy, midwife, social worker service. We do as well home visits, and family doctors can refer the patient to specialists, other complementary tests, do EKG, spirometry, blood extraction available in the health center. We work, uh, we regularly work from 8 o'clock till 3 p.m. Some chargers work evenings, and there is out of hours in rural areas. In my village, we work from 8 to 3. Then we start on call for the rest of the patient till the next day. And how um, the, the Spanish uh, primary care professional, which is the relation with a uh, health authority? Well, we mainly civil servants or salariat. We are not owner of the health centers. We have only medical responsibilities. So uh, in each team, there are three coordinators, three leaders, one for doctors, one for nurses, and for administrative staff. That's important to understand the answer of the, question, of the questioner. The regional health service pays the salaries, provides the supplies and maintenance for health centers, and provides as well the regional health electronic record for all health centers and a regional electronic prescription system. We have a population management contract with health authority to assess activity ratios, healthcare quality indicators, improvement projects, and prescription doctor's profiles. Okay. And we are really, uh, in, we are really um, for uh, promote quality in health centers. So many uh, health centers have uh, participated in the implementation of quality improvement system. The most uh, implemented are uh, ISO 9001 and the review of 2015 include risk management, so it's uh, a good news to introduce patient safety activities in the health centers. The Young Commission, the European Foundation Quality Management. So uh, they are working there in the health centers with uh, a quality management system. And there are some regions that are promoting their own quality management regional system as Catalonia and Andalusia. That includes patient safety indicators for uh, this uh, system. Okay, we have already seen what's the first access to healthcare, but why it was important to mention patient safety? Because a large number of patients comes and the frequency of patient visits is quite high. We're going to simulate how it's happening in Spain. We are about for 47 million inhabitants. We have the uh, average visit highest in Europe. The, the average in Europe is 6.8, and we have 9.5 visits per year to primary care health centers. So that means we have 453 million visits. If we consider the estimate prevalence of adverse events, we will have 5 million of adverse events in primary care. So 19.7% of citizens could be affected of an adverse event. Sometimes we are not concerned about it because uh, we, we do not... Uh, uh, take into account those uh, events, but because they are. Sorry. Why we have more contacts? Do you have more 
because we, I, I mean, say... Sorry, I say uh, we are uh, free of charge at the point of care, nor in, emer uh, in emergency, in primary and secondary care. How, well, um, uh, our population uh, has a, a long tradition of being uh, or have uh, of visiting doctors uh, since many years. We uh, always have one of the highest frequency visit ratios in Europe, as the OECD um, summaries uh, shows. So we, we try to work on this uh, because to pass the main door of a health center is as well risky, so we have to both learn and the involvement of patients in their safe care uh, could help us to organize uh, a better uh, care as well. So in a primary care professional impact, we perform 7,500 visits per year. If we use the prevalence estimate of adverse events, we would have 84 adverse event per year, that means seven adverse event per personnel in a month, and what that means is two per week. And we don't know the patient who will suffer from it when he or she is waiting in the waiting uh, hall. So that is our, um, our reasons, our rational, uh, to being aware of patient safety in primary care. And the aim of the study was to measure patient safety culture among primary care professionals working in public health centers and provide new proposals to improve patient safety culture in primary care. So we looked different tools and we finally chose one that was the uh, Medical Office Survey on Patient Safety Culture uh, we have um, Isabel Dupuy and his and her equip have been uh, working this morning in a workshop about this questionnaire. It's a well-designed questionnaire. It's adapted to primary care delivery profile. It's addressed to get patient safety culture in working teams. In Spain, we work in in primary care teams. Is designed to get the opinion of both healthcare and non-healthcare professional. So administrative staff did the questionnaire as well. It was a thoroughful psychometric design. It really considered all the main patient safety culture dimensions and includes an analysis tool. We all, we later on will talk about this analysis tool, and it permits international comparison with limitation, as we have already told in the workshop. Well, we perform a translation, a transcultural adaptation, and a validation as well. We added six more questions, that is a tough word because a bit long questionnaire, but we think it was really important to add this question to specifically ask health professionals about training, about communication, about error, and about office process and standardization. Because in the original questionnaire, that questions were asked in general, and we were not able to distinguish from professional, health professional and non-health professionals. This is a telephone system questionnaire we use. We did not have the opportunity to do it online, but because uh, we did a random uh, sampling and we want to know who were answering the questionnaire. We asked about the dimension that the questioner asked about patient safety and quality issues, patient care follow-up, work pressure and pace, health center processes and standardization for staff and for health professionals, training, communication openness, communication about error for staff, communication about error for health professionals specifically, how the health center learn, how it works on teams, overall rating and quality and patient safety, and leadership support for patient safety. 
considering that the leaders of the health center in Spain do not have human resources competencies nor economic resources competencies, means only medical ones and organizational ones, means they can hire anyone, um, uh, so they can, um, they have more uh, organizational uh, role. We asked as well about problem of exchanging information with pharmacies, with other hospitals. We rate the medical office in five areas of healthcare quality, patient-centered, effective, timely, efficient, and equitable. An overall rating on patient safety, how it works at your health center, and some information about professionals, age, sex, professional category, and so on. Well, our target population, 17 regions, 2,922 health centers, 85,000 primary care professionals. We did a random sample of health centers among all regions and PCPs. We finally select 289 health centers. We adjust till 10 in the small regions because we thought that to have a rep, uh, to be representative for all the regions, a small region had to have a, a minimum number of health centers in the in the quest in the survey. We did a general sample description uh, for statistic analysis, but what we introduced as a novelty was a new indicator. We call patient safety in this synthetic index, and is the um, profession, primary care professional cell perfection in its dimension calculated in addition of scores divided by number of items. Means to have a mean measure in each dimension, to have uh, uh, an approach of uh, the importance of this dimension in the group. Later on, I will explain to you that the um, medical office survey uh, with USA data is uh, measured a little bit differently. To enhance participation, we sent to each health center a cover letter from the senior patient safety officer from the Ministry of Health, a slide presentation, the telephone questionnaire, and we call each medical coordinator to uh, promote participating in this, in this study. Finally, uh, there were two regions who denied to participate. We uh, obtained 215 health center group of questionnaires and participate 4,337 primary care professionals. So concerning professionals, we have a participation rate of fifth, almost 56%. The, the responders were mainly women in the middle age of 48, 42% were doctors, 35% nurses or auxiliary nurses or midwives, and administrative staff, 18%. From all those who answered the questionnaire, 8.8 .8 people were coordinators or have a management role in the team. 45 were doctors coordination, 35 were doctors, nurses coordinators, and 19 were administrative staff coordinators. The opinion of all those professionals were quite valid because they work for more than three years in the same health center, so they knew they practice quite well. Most of them were civil servants, so they were, they, they were, their posts were uh, fixed. And uh, concerning the patient register per primary care professional, most of them, more than 50% uh, had more than 1,500 patients in register with them. 
Most of them work mornings or some mornings and some evenings, and few only um, have evening part-time and working only in evenings. 40% work uh, in 24 shift uh, and were mainly in rural areas. These are the main uh, overall indicators on patient safety quality, um, on patient safety and quality culture uh, I propose to analyze. First, sorry. First of all, we have a dimension which name was overall perception on patient safety and quality, which is composed of four questions and who show which show a average a score of 3.71 with a quite uh, narrow confidence interval, which means that have a great power uh, uh, of information with a different perception among men and women. This question, to be better understood, was how much do you agree or disagree with the following statement? So the four question talks about our office processes are good at preventing mistakes that could affect patients. Mistakes happen more than they should in this office. Or is it just by chance that we don't make more mistakes that affect our patients? And finally, in this office, getting more work done is more important than quality of care. This last question was uh, interpreted in negative sense. But these are the four questions that uh, correlate the best with um, our patient safety indicator as an overall. Means that if we want to reduce the questionnaire in future, we will surely work on these questions because the uh, results shows there are a very close overall score on F section and our patient safety uh, synthetic index. Another uh, important score was the quality issues. We were as well in a 3.42 uh, over five uh, score, so uh, as we can say, it's a positive, not very positive, but positive perception. The questions uh, in the quality section was patient center is responsive to individual patient preferences, needs, and values. It will work effective, so if our practice is based on a specific knowledge. If we minimize weights and potentially harmful delays, and if we ensure cost-effective care, avoid waste, overused, including overuse of medication, and misuse of services. And finally, if it's equitable, provides the same quality of care to all individuals, regardless gender, race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, and language. And as you can say, was one of the uh, best score uh, overall um, ratio. We go on to see the global question. This is a unique question that values the patient safety as a whole. The question is overall, how would you rate the systems and clinical processes your medical office has in place to prevent, to catch, to correct problems that have the potential to affect patients? So they measure it as mainly good when we compare our data with the USA data, we will show that Spanish data are a little bit lower than American one. But in general, we, we think we are doing well on patient safety. And we are just to 
analyze in detail our patient safety score that is directly connected with uh, these uh, particular questions. And uh, we, we think that is a very useful indicator to, uh, mm, to follow, to track the health centers uh, on performing patient safety activities. So, what mm, concerning primary care professional characteristics, we have to say that uh, women had a better patient safety synthetic index score, and there were a significant differences. Those in the middle 50s and 60s were uh, more aware of patient safety, so um, it's clear uh, that uh, Spanish professionals are uh, aware uh, on patient safety, but we have to, to go on working with the rest. Considering uh, cat professional categories, nurses are quite aware of patient safety, followed by doctors and non-health care workers. Our coordinators or leaders are really concerned about patient safety. And those who have less patience feel that the patient safety culture is buried in health care centers. So to have more patients reduces the perception of safety in the health centers. These are the dimensions we have already mentioned. And uh, these are the patient safety synthetic index. The best uh, dimension score was patient safety and quality issues. It was the best dimension to understand because it concerned if we are able to give an appointment in less than 48 hours for a patient in for uh, emergent health problem, and we can solve different problems about patient directly. Then we are quite uh, quite aware of the patient care tracking and follow up. We, we really, as I mentioned before, visit several times the patient uh, in primary care. So we don't know exactly if it's to promote their safety or to provoke harms, as you asked before. <laughs> we don't know exactly. It's professional's perception. Information and change with other settings is a uh, well scored dimension as well. This dimension is really improved recently because in most of the regional services we have an electronic health record and electronic prescription as well. And uh, we can exchange information uh, with hospitals and with the specialists in the polyclinics. And that helps a lot. But we go downstairs <laughs> and we realize that work pressure and pace is the worst score dimension. We, we, we have a lot of work and we think that influence directly patient safety. So uh, overall rating on patient safety is really affected by the way we are delivering care. We visit an average of 30 patients from 8 o'clock till 15 <laughs> every day, and we have um, on-call patients as well in this time. So sometimes it's a tough work to do, and at the end of the morning, we, are, um, we, are, we have the likelihood, a high likelihood to commit an, an adverse event or an error. And who are the most aware? Uh, in our health centers. So we have already said that those in the middle 50s and six, till 65, and mm, those were women, leaderships, and nurses, and we have less than 100 uh, patient list. And we did as well a translation of the Excel tool of the Medical Officer by Patient Safety Culture. Pilar, 15 minutes Thank you. left. Uh, this uh, is an Excel tool uh, where the questions are measured uh, in a different way. They detect potential for improvements. Those questions will have 
more than 50% negative answers and they consider areas of strength those who are respond who are answer more than 75% positive answers we perform these different reports for the health center because all the health center who participate in the study had the excel tool and we compare our results with the 8ARQ 2012 and we are the red ones and in most of the dimension we have lower uh, values as well on the general perception on quality we are the red one as well with the patient safety global perception we we are a little bit on the left side of the normal curve and we go on working with uh, patient safety as as the HRQ added two questions about second victim we decide not to go on working and um, reduce the questionnaire with two more questions because it was a tough work and we do not have more budget to do so because the first research was founded by the ministry and the ministry now do not have money to go on researching on these questions so we ask for a grant a national grant and we work on second and third victim projects and we decided to uh, work on this i i performed later on a workshop to show the recommendations we have already uh, obtained from the research project and this study was based in a questionnaire as well we uh, look through patient safety culture health organization crisis management plans actions plan to ensure transparency in communication support second victims this is a survey in which we count with eight Spanish regions, was volunteer and only eight Spanish regions join us. But we uh, uh, have uh, 610 primary care professionals who participate in our study. The way we measured the questions was the same, was a liquor scale answer of five poss possibilities, but the picture was always read in primary care. We, we can say it's not the same tool, but are, we are a little bit lower than was in 2012. That's 2015. Uh, if previously we have a safety culture perception of 3.7 with another instrument, we have 2.7 over five out of five and in hospital there is still a safety culture it's true that in in spain they have a lot of investment on patient safety practice in in hospitals but we are aware because when we talk about the usefulness of interventions to prevent the impact of adverse events in second and third victims we, we think that is a very useful uh, intervention to, to do, but we recognize that it's not implemented in our uh, context. Well, my conclusions. I did a strength, weakness, opportunities and threat analysis. So, considering a strength, patient safety culture is positive in Spain, is mainly founded in quality issues, dimension, and patient track and follow-up. This is the timeline of primary care. So our foundations uh, help us to promote patient safety. There is a feminization of a Spanish National Health Service nowadays. So if women have a higher uh, patient safety culture, our health service will have a higher patient safety culture. The leaders are uh, convinced that they have to promote patient safety. We already work in primary care teams and uh, teamwork was of the best score dimensions. We have improved our information exchange with other institutions and we have uh, good results. 
and most of us are civil servants, so they have exclusively medical responsibility and focus on healthcare. But we have weaknesses as well. Data of the questionnaire, as we told this morning, uh, is a self-assessment questionnaire, so there were people who were optimistic and other maybe burnout. The concept of patient safety is might not resonate sufficiently within primary care professionals. We are quite aware on patient and quality issues. Uh, we have a uh, work overload, lots of patients, a high frequency of visits and short time per patient. In Spain, the average is six minutes to ten minutes only. We have to train other categories to improve that uh, culture. And we have a frail communication about error among doctors. Other categories, as administrative staff, for example, have better scores on communication about error than us. Finally, professionals are assalariat with few incentives to improve. Threats, because we have some threats as well. We have an increasingly complex condition of patients, making it difficult to provide the best and safest care to every patient. Exponential growth in scientific knowledge. Every five years, we, we, have, we should do again our medical degree, almost. We have economic constraints and we have to, to do a much uh, uh, more efforts to consider risk control strategies because with economic constraints we will have more patient, uh, highest patient list and uh, more complex patients. Less incentive to introduce new risk management strategies. We have had a 10% reduction in salary, the functioners, in the civil servants in Spain, so it's not a very positive uh, uh, news for uh, improve. An increase in complex workload in the same number, with the same number of professional. We have to work on legal changes, as I talked this morning, because it's very difficult to achieve soon, but we can be prosecuted if we uh, declare some uh, adverse event publicly. No budget support from National Ministry of Health Service from now. Uh, years ago, we, we had and we were able to do those uh, research studies. Our new uh, information technology solutions as electronic uh, health electronic records or prescription electronic uh, software can introduce new rigs and we are not still we have not still identified them but that can cause harm as well and finally we have opportunities time as an active watching and waiting so uh, see uh, uh, do a, um, a, a careful follow up of patients to promote quality management approaches engaging staff in daily improvement we have the opportunity to have a national reporting and learning system from hospitals and primary care called Synapse. And there is anonymized all the incident declared uh, and uh, they can give us a follow, a, a, a feedback uh, where to improve. And different scientific societies with the health ministry, are in, we are involved to introduce legal changes to promote open disclosure and reporting to learn without uh, inviting people who do the, uh, the investigation, the, the inquiry of the adverse events uh, to court. Patient engagement as well and future Europe comparisons. We are really waiting for your results and to uh, propose new challenge uh, opportunities for establishing patient safety culture in primary care in Europe as well. So finally, legal changes, promoting work, going working on quality and patient through quality management to promote patient participation and to address professionalism in primary care to quality and safety management system, teamwork and shared decisions. 
that's uh, a, a first step on the road to go on working. And as it was mentioned before, medicine used to be simple, but nowadays it's complex and we got to keep aware. Thank you very much for your attention.